All right, everybody. Welcome to the show, and right now we have our first guest. Now, he's an author, and he wrote this book. It's called Fellowship of the No Longer Miserable. Please welcome Bob Halloran. Welcome, Bob. Thanks very much. I appreciate it. Now, a lot of people out there are going to recognize you because you actually work in television, and you're an on-air personality Mm -hmm. at WCVB, which is Channel 5. That's right. I've been there almost uh, eight years, which is longer than I've been anywhere else. Wow. Well, I'm lucky if I can stay the same place two years, but I've been here for 80 weeks. Can you believe it, Bob? (laughs) It's a great run. Yeah, well, I'm not making any money. (laughs) Now, you are also an author. You've wrote a few books. The first one we're going to talk about is this one, The Fellowship of the No Longer Miserable. The book itself, actually, when you sell it, all the profits are going to the Jimmy Fund, right? That's right. I had a printing company called Proforma print the first 5,000 books, so they fronted that to begin with. It cost a couple of dollars. So we sell the book for 20 bucks. About eighteen dollars will go to the Jimmy Fund. Our hope is sell the five thousand and donate ninety grand. Very good. Wow. My dad is impressed. That's because we had our one year anniversary last April. We wanted to raise just five grand for the Jimmy Fund. How'd you do? We only raised four. That's uh, so we kind of failed there. Four is good. Now, if you make ninety thousand with the book, we may ask you to help us. That's right, and, <laughs> and I'll ask you to help us. Yeah. Now, tell me, what's the book all about? Well, I took the title from Rick Pitino's comment that uh, the sports culture in Boston was the fellowship of the miserable. Mm -hmm. Uh, So when the Patriots, Red Sox, and Patriots won three championships in 12 months, that culture started to change. Mm -hmm. So I I I put a narrative into the story of the Patriots and Red Sox winning those championships of a boy with leukemia who undergoes bone marrow transplant. Mm -hmm. And while he's recovering, he listens to and participates in sports talk radio dialogue, which Mm -hmm. is written in the book. So hopefully, people learn about what a boy goes or what a child goes through mm-hmm. with leukemia um, and they also kind of laugh a little bit because there's a lot of humor in it and they also kind of walk down memory lane to, to remember the good times of that 12-month period. Mm-hmm. Now uh, of course you must know about Yuri Berenger. Oh sure right yeah. Uh, Yuri was on our show in fact he was the first guest ever on our program. We honored him on our anniversary mm-hmm. show because he had cancer. He was at the Dana-Farber Institute. Right. And he met uh, the Red Sox players and he met the announcer, uh, Joe Castiglione. Yep. And because of those relationships he made, eventually he became an intern for the Red Sox and now he uh, he broadcast the game for years in Spanish. But now he works on Nesson as one of the anchors on the desk. There. I never knew who he was while he was broadcasting in Spanish because mm-hmm. I never listened. Uh, yep. But when he got the job over at Nesson, I saw that. And then during the uh, Nesson EEI radio telethon, he told his story. Mm-hmm. And it was uh, you know, it's wonderful. It's an amazing story. He's a great guy. As a matter of fact, I used to work at the Spanish broadcast for the Red Sox for years, and you wouldn't know it, but I was El Gato. Uh, <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did the commercials. I said, Amigos, es tiempo para el momento clave. Wow, that's really good. Yeah. I was confusing you for a moment with El Guapo. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not handsome. I'm just the cat. How about that, Bob? Right. Now, let's quickly talk about a couple of the books. My dad has them here. Dad. Go on, see your hands up. I know what, what it means, Dad. I speak in Spanish. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is a breakdown, and this is another yes. one one of your newer books. Yes, that came out in August. It's a uh, Friday Night Lights of uh, the inner city, Chelsea. Was, mm-hmm. uh, their high school team was coached by a gang unit police officer, so there's a lot of gang-related stories in there, what the kids have to deal with in Chelsea. Um, but the tough love of the coach, who's also a cop, kind of puts them you know, on the straight and narrow mm-hmm. uh, and gets them through high school, on to graduation, and into better things. So it's a very raw, real book. Mm-hmm. There's some language in there that mm-hmm. um, I wish that every high school kid in America would read the book, but uh, their parents have to approve it first. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like this show, which never gets approved. <laughs> right. And the last book, of course, is Irish Thunder, The Hard Life and Times of Mickey Ward, the boxer. Now, we know about this because we had an actress who's in the upcoming film about Mickey Ward. Yeah. Uh, Melissa McMeekin was here, uh, but you wrote a book about his life, and, and the great thing was, is didn't they uh, call you to be a consultant? Yeah, the interesting part was that when I started to write the book, Paramount really wanted me to stay out of the way, you mm-hmm. know, um, so I had to get permission from them to write the book and make sure that I was a separate entity, a separate project. Mm -hmm. Uh, But then I got the book out in time for 2007, and by that point they had about a fourth screenwriter working on it. Mm -hmm. So he called me and asked if he could use the book and my research and my perceptions and uh, impressions of the people I met. So eventually they needed you? They needed me and they made me a technical consultant and they paid me. Whoa, you got the big bucks. All good. He writes books, he works on TV, and now he's a consultant for movies. Right. 
You know, Bob, we could use some more help down here at the Steve Katzel Show. We have a lot of help here. <laughs> it's pretty good. Before we go, if people want to go online and find the books, where do they go? Well, the, the two books, Irish Thunder and Breakdown, are available everywhere, mm -hmm. Amazon and Barnes and & Nobles and things like that. The Fellowship of the No Longer Miserable uh, is only available when I'm out signing it. Mm -hmm. uh, so look for me, uh, and you can find out where I'm at at nolongermiserable.com. You can order the book online, but if you want to know where I'm signing it and selling it, uh, that's also available at nolongermiserable.com. Fantastic, folks. This is the book. It's called Fellowship of the No Longer Miserable. Please put your hands together and thank Bob Halloran for coming in. All right, pal. Thank you so much. We'll be right back right after this.